Hello, hello, hello. My name is Jenna. This is 1111 with Jenna. I'm here seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week. And tonight is Monday, 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 November 28th. And I'm going to be here for a little bit telling a few jokes. I'm going to make some hot water because I was watching a movie with Mama Grace with the beautiful face. And now I got to heat up some hot water, 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 some water. I still haven't heard how Martha Stewart says it, but does she say water, water, water? Oh, that's my little water bottle, my little water bottle. I don't know how they say it, water. But anyway, I'm here, you here? Who's here, anybody here? Mama Grace, are you here? Come on, at least Mama Grace be here. Mama Grace with a beautiful face. Yes, we are watching, we're watching a show. And let's see, it's not Monday. Yeah, it is Monday, it's Monday. Meditation Monday has now turned into Joke Monday because jokes are so much better. Oh, what's that about? Hmm. Ah, battery dead. Battery not charged, not charged at all. Okay, so. And I can't see who's here because I'm doing something else right now. And how are you? What's going on? Who's doing what and where? And where are you? And let's see, I can do it this way. Okay, that's turning on. And things are just, you know, a little bit behind tonight because doing some other stuff, working on a project, getting a collage done. I have cards i have cards and i'm gonna have um christmas and holiday cards ready for the in the next week if anybody wants to buy some christmas and holiday cards because tomorrow is giving tuesday so i figured you give i give we all give everybody give have fun let's see what's going on <sighs> oh turn it for sure turn it off for sure, for sure, for sure. Turn that, turn that up. Air, who's got airplane mode? I don't have time for airplane mode right today. Not today, I don't. Let's see, let's start this over. And Jenna Mamina is live. And Claudia is here. Watcher. Like that, watcher. Martha Stewart says, watcher. Hey. Yes, good. Trying to lower the volume. Hey, what's happening here? Yes, good. Trying to lower the volume. My volume won't lower. Oh, there it goes. And there goes the alarm. Everything's going off at the same time. Oh, yeah, find it. Turn off all alarms. I'm going public. I'm trying. I'm trying. But sometimes it just doesn't let me go public unless I go all the way over here. So tonight is joke night. Who's got a joke? You can type it. You can pop on. I'm editing the privacy right now and it's gone public. So now you can, oh, I'm so bet, I bet you all feel so much better. Now you can share the show. Share the show. Hi, Mama Grace. You can like it. You can love it, you can care, you can laugh, you can wow. I'm so much, I'm feeling so, I'm, I'm so happy, Melanie Demore, that you're feeling better. Yay. Melanie's feeling better. Melanie's feeling better. So, okay. I chose dog for tonight. What kind of dog likes to take, likes taking a bath every day? What kind of dog likes taking a bath every day? A shampoodle. I'll look for Martha. 
Oh, yes, it's totally necessary. Hi, Tammy, how are you? Shall I go on? Why did the, mo why did the man living in Alaska name his dog Frost? Because Frost bites. Okay, I won't do that every time. Ah, which dog breed loves living in the Big Apple? Which dog breed loves living in the Big Apple? A New Yorkie. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. What was the little Scottish dog's reaction when he first saw the Loch Ness Monster? He was terrified. Okay, I'll do it again. <laughs> what do dogs get after they graduate from obedience school? Their masters. When you cross an aggressive dog with a computer, what do you get? A lot of bites. I recently planted a pet tree and it's like having a pet dog, except the bark is much quieter. Why didn't the dog want to play football? <laughs> not a joke. I thought my nose is running, but it's not. Read it fast. Read it fast. Reading it fast, mama. <laughs> because he was a boxer. Oh, why do dogs bury their bones in the ground? Because they can't be buried in trees. What do a dog and a marine biologist have in common? One wags a tail and one tags a whale. Which dog breed is Dracula's favorite? Bloodhound. Why do puppies and pages of a book, what do puppies and pages of a book have in common? They're both dog-eared. What do you call, I've, I know this one. What do you call a dog magician? Labracadabrador. Labracadabrador. I said that one last week, I think. When the dog went to the flea circus, what happened? He stole the show. What kinds of outdoor markets do dogs despise? Flea markets. What type of dog is constantly aware of the time? Watchdog. Why did the two-legged dog come to an abrupt halt? It had to pause. Hi, Mary. What happens if you cross a dog with a phone? A golden receiver. I'm waiting for someone else to jump on here. Nobody's jumping on. What kind of dog consumes food with, ooh. Not anymore. What kind of dog consumes food with its ears? All of them. I haven't seen a single dog remove their ears before digging in. What breed of dog can jump higher than a building? All of them, since buildings can't jump. What did the man name his two watchdogs? Rolex and Timex. <laughs> what did Darth Vader, what did Darth Vader's dog say to Luke's dog? Come to the bark side.
why do dogs love smartphones? <laughs> because they have caller IDs. Why did the dachshund want to sit in the shade? Because it was a hot dog. What do dogs do when they need to take a bathroom break during a movie? They press the pause button. Oh, I'm not going to read that one. What is a pug's favorite fall beverage? Pug can spice, ladies and gentlemen. One more. Why are dogs bark so loud? They have built in subwoofers. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Pat Moriarty in the house. Pat, this guy. This guy that did this book. There he is, there he is, there he is. Woo! Did you like my dog jokes? Yeah, kind of. Those are riddles. I kept thinking about the Riddler from Batman. No, riddles are more a dog and then a thing and then a thing. You're a you're a cat guy, so you're not into the dog thing. Yeah, what do I, dogs usually eat at the movie theater? Um, what do dogs eat at the movie theater? Something to do with bones. What? Popcorn. Oh, I was wrong. Well, that's a good one. <laughs> See, that's still that's a riddle. That's like uh, riddle me this. Don't, 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 don't. These are dog jokes. I, I googled dog jokes. They don't say riddles. They say 75 of the doggone best dog jokes that'll have you Barking with laughter. <laughs> we did some research. You laughed. Yep. <laughs> How's it going, Pat? What's happening? Oh, it's going okay. I'm up to my usual thing. I'm working on art. Good. Do you have a joke? Because tonight's joke night. Um, I don't know if I have a joke, but I was trying to think of like at least having some kind of funny story to tell you. And um, all right. Keep it rolling because, you know, it's I, I've, I'm on a roll here. I uh, have about 25, 25 more dog jokes I can do. Um, I was trying to think about funny stories that had to do with brushes with fame because I've heard you brought that up. That's on Sundays. That's on Sunday? Hmm. Sunday's brush, brushes with fame. Today's joke night. Yeah. Huh. I'm not sure if I actually have a... I, I, I've seen some stand-up comedy. I went to see Sam Miller the other night. He, he uh, uh, headlined at... Uh, Nate Jackson's uh, a super funny comedy club in Tacoma on Friday cool. Saturday, and Sunday and I went to see him Friday and uh, he was hilarious it was his first headlining in that big place that's exciting I'm a fan of stand-up comedy for sure but I'm not really a comedian I'm, I mean I don't know I'm not uh, I I don't memorize anything <laughs> why don't you why don't you google a, a joke Okay. Like you could pick a subject. Okay. Let me coffee. See. How about a joke about coffee? Okay. Okay. Just for kicks, I'm going to Google and I'm going to type in coffee joke. Yeah, coffee joke. This was my friend Bruce's cup. Image. Oh, I'm getting images for coffee joke. I want it. Let's see, I'll find an, another one while you're looking. Here's 40 coffee jokes and puns that will surely perk you up. See? Oh, if I can like <laughs> deliver these lines. What could be worse than raining cats and dogs? Hailing taxis. What, what, what do you, when you cross a frog with a dog, what do you get? A frog with a dog? Uh, I don't know. A croaker spaniel. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay, I, I'm armed with jokes and puns here. You want to hear some coffee gags? What's the opposite of coffee? The opposite of coffee, hot water, coffee I guess. I don't know. Sneezing. You know, what? <laughs> sneezing. Sneezing. Oh. I know, I didn't write these jokes. Let's see. What's a coffee's favorite spell? Espresso, espresso petronium? I don't even get that myself. Maybe you better put my glasses in. Then I can be really funny. Put your glasses on. Now you can be really, really funny. What's a barista's favorite exercise at the gym? The French press. <laughs> I need a drum roll for my for my jokes too. What's it called when you steal someone's coffee? A mugging. What? Oh, it's called a mugging. I guess you take a mugging. Their, you take their mug. Yeah, that's the, the. Okay, how is divorce like an espresso? Wouldn't know how. It's expensive and bitter. <laughs> What do gossiping pots do? What? What do gossiping pots do? Gossiping pots? Yeah, what do gossiping pots do? What's a gossiping pot? I suppose a pot that spreads gossip. Okay. They, they spill the beans. I know these are bad jokes. It's, you know, you almost need to have like a fake laugh track. so. Just like on those sitcoms when they're not really funny, they seem funny because they put in the stupid piped in laughter. Let's see. Uh, what do you call a cow who's just given birth? Remember, this is a Can't coffee. hear you, they're laughing. Well, even the setup is funny for this one, I guess. Um, what do you call a cow? They're still laughing. They're still laughing. Hey, this is a hilarious website. So my question is, now remember, this is a coffee joke. So it's a coffee punchline. What do you call a cow who's just given birth? Think about it. Coffee. Think coffee. Cow who's just given birth. Decaffeinated. <laughs> it's almost like you feel like it's not good enough when people do the joke. Why did the kangaroo stop drinking his cup of coffee? It made him too jumpy. Eh, these aren't funny. Let's see. Uh, Maybe if you do, do any impersonations, you could add a, a, a different voice. <laughs> Oh, I think my voice is ridiculous enough. And I don't think it, I think, I don't think the impression would add much to the, to the writing of these jokes. Here's one that says, thanks a latte for being my friend. You have to remember that one for next time you're at the coffee shop. And you mocha making me happy. No, that one's not funny either. Let's see. She drank so much coffee at work, she considered it part of her daily grind. Get it? Grind? As in coffee grind? I do some of my best thinking over coffee. I tend to have a latte on my mind. Get it? Latte? A lot? What's a barista's favorite morning mantra? Rise and grind. Rise and grind. Rise and grind. Yep. What did the coffees say before their night out? Let's stir up some trouble. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, I need that one too. How do you describe that? Wah, wah, wah. How would you get that on just, YouTube? It's almost like one of those game show things where you like fail miserably and they rub it in with the music. Mm -hmm. What do you call a sad cup of coffee? A depresso. <laughs> That's a sad joke. Do you, you have a crying audience sound for the bad jokes? Or do you have any booze? You ought to get like booze and laughs and crying 
and then maybe even offended voices, and then you can jump okay. around. When, when you start producing the show, you can <laughs> get those all for me, and I'll and I'll get them as quickly as I can. Where right. do dogs park their cars? In the barking lot. They sure do. I use my logic for that one. Why aren't corgi jokes funny? Yeah, why indeed aren't they? I'd like to know. Because all of them are really short. <laughs> I'm gonna, How I'm do gonna... you know if you have a slow dog? Um, how do you know? It chases parked cars. No, that's a slow dog. You got any more? I'm going to look up and I'm going to Google some other topic of jokes. I've got the, the coffee jokes are, are uh, uh, I'm trying really hard to deliver them, but they just aren't landing. I'll try another one. I'll see if I can make one land here. It's just not uh, landing. Why did it take the bean so long to do its homework? Who? Said what? Why did it take the bean, the coffee bean, so long to do its homework? Because it was procaffeinating. Procrastinating, procrastinating. Even. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to, let's see. Uh, how do you cups? Why do dogs love redwood trees? It has something to do with peeing on them, I bet. They have the biggest bark. Oh, well, I've got to get my mind out of the gutter here. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, this is about dogs. Well, I always think about when I think about a tree and a dog, I think about the dog goes and pees on it. That's what dogs do to trees. That's what why did one flea say to the other? What? And that's not. Should we walk or just take the dog? <laughs> okay, that one made me laugh. Why was the coffee shop worker fired? He kept showing up in a t-shirt. See, that's like uh, uh, not, not that's sacrilegious. He should be wearing a coffee shirt. Why did the man make pancakes for his dog? Because he was hungry. Because his dog didn't know how. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a good reason. Why did the coffee shop close for the day? Because a storm was brewing. That's another, that's another, you have to be a coffee shop employee to get that one. Some of these you have to be in the coffee know-how to, to get them. Whenever I take my dog to the park, the ducks always try to bite him. I guess it makes sense since he's purebred. <laughs> what do you call a fake noodle? Uh, a fake noodle? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't know, some kind of dog. An impasta. An impasta. Oh, that's not a dog joke. You've moved on to new topics. I, I, I got that. That's a Rob Morocco joke. He just oh. threw that one in. Yeah, I was going to say, you're, you're expanding your, your, your set. Well, you went from wherever you were to coffee. Coffee yeah. to. I went from to nowhere to coffee. <laughs> you went from nowhere to coffee. Let's see. I wonder if I wonder if there's anything. Like, um, I'm going to type in British tea jokes and see if there's any. Who? British tea. British tea. Yeah, as long as we're doing coffee, let's see what those. After accidentally swallowing Buzz Lightyear, what did the dog say to Woody? Um, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Oh, got a friend in me, literally. I get it. Let's see here. Oh, I actually got another have... one, Morocco. Here's one. Why do British people pronounce British without the T? Because they drank it. Okay, it wasn't the best subject. No, it's very, that's very, um, <laughs> I have clean jokes. What, 101 clean jokes. I have to pace myself because, you know, there's always next week. And there's so many good jokes out there in the world to tell. 
Did you hear the one about, where'd it go? Did you hear the one about the first restaurant to open on the moon? No, I haven't. Tell me about it. It has great food, but no atmosphere. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. What kind of tea do babies drink? Oh, no, that's a dirty one. I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to tell that one. Uh, what kind it's of probably not dirty. You probably made it dirty. Um, OK, then all right. I'll tell you that I'll tell the joke. What kind of tea do babies drink, Jenna? No idea. Tit tea. Oh God! What kind of you know? What kind of websites are you on? I don't know. The rest of these look like they're fairly, uh, fairly like. What kind of celebration pays down the national debt? A tea party. Why do ducks have feathers? Um, to flock together. To cover their butt quacks. <laughs> That was a dirty one. That was worse than. I was trying the, to, was trying to get, get, get up there with you there. Trying to match me here. Um, when, when shouldn't you drink a hot beverage? If it's not your cup of tea. That one's pretty bad. What do you drink with the Queen of England? Gin. Royalty. Royalty. What do teapots wear to a tea party? What do teapots wear to a tea party? It was the punchline of one of my coffee jokes. A t-shirt. Um, Remember, because see, that was why the, I bet it's the same, the same writer. The, the, the same uh, guy in his basement writing bad jokes for the internet. <laughs> what does a nosy pepper do? A nosy pepper. Um, I, I don't know what. It gets jalapeno biz business. Mm -hmm. You need to. Why should you never trust stairs? Um, Why should you never trust stairs? Because you can't count on, uh, because there are bad step towards, be, because I don't know what. Because they're always up to something. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm still on my tea kick. What do politicians need to drink? Honest tea. Uh -huh. <laughs> get more of that. I'm, I'm getting political here. I'm trying to make a comment about today's All right, get A couple more. A couple, get, give us a couple more, and then maybe you can show us what you're, what you're coloring over there. Uh, Inking. What, what, what drink do you need to steal? Virgin tea. I don't get it. Uh, why, do, why do hipsters only drink iced tea? Because ice was water before it was cool. Pat um, Moriarty, everybody. Yeah, I think I'll leave out, I'll, I'll go out on a high note there with that hilarious joke that I just told. Can we um, see what you're working on? Um, I'm working on, on a, a well, well, first off, I did a bunch of beer bottle designs that I don't have them uh, 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 to where I can show you, but I've got my sketchbook versions of them. Let me see if I can get my glasses off so they won't be blurry. But uh, the uh, decent exposure amber instead of indecent exposure, get it? And then um, another one is called Close Up Magic IPA. And I did some sketches there, but the, none of these ended up being the design. I did uh, a couple more. Try these, these are for beer bottles. And then I ended up going with, uh, we've got page after. I, I ended up going with the rabbit sticking his head, his head out of the, hat and he's got a beer the close up oh that's house. good i yeah. like that the top looks, one yeah yeah and it looks good in color and everything these are all just my rough sketches right now i'm doing a, a logo design for uh 
a, a small film company and his uh, my friend Matt Panchar and the name of his business is uh, Panchar on Fire Productions. So I'm still like working on trying to come up with a, a logo design for him, but I've got that. I'm still. This is still like the, uh, you know, the anything goes. Try to come up. I, I, I'm fixing that the lettering on that, but there's another one with pants are on fire, and I've got uh, the lettering over it. But I'm just getting started on this. I've still I'm oh, gonna be coming up with uh, more of them until I finally come up with something. I have to That's first really cool. wall until something sticks and nothing's sticking yet. I understand. How are you feeling? All good? Who, me? You, got, you, have, you now have two kittens. Yeah, I should bring them in here. They're like a couple of monsters. Um, uh, one thing I've learned about these cats is that like they try to climb my legs like a tree. So I can't be in the kitchen in a bathrobe because they will scale my naked bare legs and it hurts. It's like a little pin. Hey, John. Uh, so and uh, uh, one thing I learned to do is uh, I got a spray bottle with huh? water in it and I have it handy at all times. For, no, don't get on the counter. And no, don't climb me anymore. I'm not a tree. And get away from that rubber plant and on and on. And so I've got that spray bottle. Got a list. <laughs> How many spray bottles? Um, I've got one, but it's a big one, and it's always oh, full. So you carry it around like on your belt loop. It's mostly in the kitchen. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. No, um, I, I keep it in the kitchen because that's the dangerous place. Because if I get out cat food and I'm holding the can, they want to walk out onto my arm and eat out of the can like a tree, like I'm a tree. And, and that's when they climb these in the kitchen. And so that's where the spray bottle is. And they get on the counters there and uh, they hop around around there and everything. So that's the, and it's also the middle of the house. So it's the most uh, uh, accessible spot to grab that much needed water bottle. <laughs> you, want, you want me to go grab, you want me to go grab one of those cats? I'll go, they're real tiny. I'll, sure. I'll right back. I'm not even gonna sign off. I'm just gonna be back in 10 seconds. <laughs> you guys thanks for being here and thanks for so next week joke joke night whoever wants to come on you pick out a, a subject lipstick or lighter you know what i'm saying candle good night patty loman good night good night good night wherever you are cute little westies yep yep as soon as the kids as soon as the cat's around, the dogs will play, I guess. No, I'm really happy that you guys were here tonight, tomorrow morning. I think I'm just going to do movement and maybe maybe a smoothie tomorrow, but I'm liking the movement every day. So I'm thinking we'll do movement until, until I have a guest in the morning. But I'm hoping that more people come on. So if you have friends that you think would be really fun to have on the show, yes, please. Yes, please. Bring them bring them on the show but i really liked your fake noodle joke impasta oh hi little kitty here's melvin 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 yeah he's interesting cat because like uh, he's white but he's got like a spot with spots and he's got another spot back here he kind of looks like you and he likes to sit on my shoulder a lot. That's where he's like, I said, this is the one that climbs me like a tree. Wow. He's, uh, he was born on September 18th. So what's that, like a dozen weeks? And uh, I've only had him for two weeks now. And he has practically doubled in size. It's like he's a little pig. He eats as much as my full grown cat does. And he has no boundary issues. He keeps butting his head into the dish of the other cat. My cat Shemp, who's 15, and he's pissed at me about all this. And when he puts his head in the dish, then Shemp just looks all uh, disgusted and walks away from the dish. He, he won't get aggressive, but he's just um, he's just pissed. And, and, Look at uh, those paws! Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. He's gonna clean himself. Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. And um, he's got a, uh, 
He's got kind of a brown head, and then also he's got a brown tail. So he's a white cat with a brown tail in a couple of spots. And he's Crazy. got Crazy. What color is the other cat? Um, and he's got real symmetrical markings on his face. Um, oh. the, the other cat, uh, I, I was calling it virus, but it's kind of not landing. It's not working. So I'm going to call her El, uh, Velma because Melvin and Velma, they almost kind of rhyme. And I think they're siblings anyway. So Velma, Melvin and Velma. Yeah, Velma is going to be the name for the other one. You were going to call her Virus? Virus. Yeah, I was trying to make be funny. And I was thinking about like my last cat I called Flipper after a punk rock band. And I thought it, and, and Melvin is named after the Melvins. Melvins, or, right. I kind of got that one. Yeah. But uh, uh, so I was just thinking about like cramps with poison ivy and names like that. And I was like looking up punk girl names. And I came up with Virus because it sounded female y, but. I don't know. It just doesn't work for her personality. Um, she is a uh, uh, calico, and she's uh, uh, not as uh, 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 obnoxious as this one is. She's real mellow and sweet. Um, I was looking for her, and um, she I don't know where she is. She, they're so small. They're like, you know, get under things and stuff, and then you don't know where they are. But I could hey, go try. Speaking of. Do you know a, a woman by the name of that goes by Devil Doll? A woman that goes by Devil Doll? She was in the punk punk scene, kind of punk alt punk alt country punk scene. Devil Doll. She used to be my neighbor. Huh. Wait, what what band was she in? I thought they were the Devil Dolls, but maybe not. But she had a really cool old car, and she you know she had the whole retro thing going on, and I Devil know. Doll. The punk rock band X have a, have a great song called Devil Doll. And I even think that there's an old horror film from the 50s called Devil Doll. And it's about like this. Uh, no, here the, she is, Devil Doll, Devil Doll Band. There she is. There's my old old neighbor. Yeah. American Rockabilly Band oh, with okay. Colleen Duffy. That's Colleen Duffy. Nice. It was featured on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I will research. Yeah. Wow, very, very super cute cat. I'm kind of a little, you know. Yeah, I, I was grieving when my friend passed away, and I just decided, my, and one of my other cats died, and um, it gets boring if you don't have critters around. So uh, I had a friend that was irresponsible about fixing her uh, cats, and she had two that got pregnant at the same time and all of a sudden she was stuck with nine kittens all at the same time and um i was just kind of impulsively decided to take one and then um when i got there i decided to take two because they were all at each other and i thought okay this these two cats will occupy each other and it, they won't be as high maintenance because they'll just be wrestling all the time and chasing each other around instead of my 15 year old cat that would really hate me if I just brought that one kitten home, right. and attack him all day while he's trying to take a nap. So uh, it does work. Um, uh, they can do you go? Can you go find Velma? Grace wants to see the calico cat. All right, I'll do the switcheroo. The switcheroo with the cataroos. I'll I don't think, think I have to keep that occupied because I started Devil Doll. Devil Doll's ominous soul. Devil Doll Band Tour. Yeah, she tours. She's, they're huge. Very cool. Yeah, she was my neighbor. There she is. Devil Doll, Devil Doll. Let's see. Jokes about dolls. Trying to stay with the theme. The 20 best doll jokes. That's not funny. Well, that's not funny. Oh, this is funny. I hate Russian dolls. They're so full of themselves. What is a doll's favorite dog? A Dalmatian. What do you call a Barbie doll that's wearing scrubs? A 
plastic surgeon. What do you call dolls in line? Barbie queuing. No. Not funny at all. No, nope, not even going to go there. Okay, there were some funny doll jokes and some really twisted weird stuff. So if you want to, that's, I won't even, I won't even support that because there's the kitten. Mama, here's the kitten. That's the other one. She's the same size. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Thelma! But um, she's got different markings. Like she's got a lot more orange. She's got, kind of got weird stripes on the side. And she's a lot. Hi, bigger. Velma. You're a pretty girl. She'll she'll sit on me too, but not as much as uh, Melvin. Melvin had does it as a as a habit, but she just more is just like just her own personality. She's it's a little bit how, bigger, yeah. Yeah, she's a tiny bit bigger, a little bit chubbier than. He's all muscly and, and more like a demon. And she's just kind of chubby and sweet and, and uh, not uh, and mellow. It's weird how so young in their ages, they have such distinct personalities already. You know, he's a little terror and she's just like a little sweetheart. And it's just like, it's already obvious. She's just a little purr box too. And uh, he's got brown eyes and she's kind of got, Kind of, kind of greenish eyes, or, or orangey eyes, I guess. Kind of matches their their, their You're face. You're really pretty, Velma. No virus. We can't call her virus. Mm -hmm. Hi, Velma. <laughs> virus. Yeah, uh, virus was like not working. It sounds too mean or something, too yeah. negative. And, a little mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. But but Melvin is kind of a terror, so that works for him. That name somehow uh, uh, in, insinuates that he's kind of a problem, and he is. And and she's just real sweet. So, but um, when you put them down on the floor with each other, they're like a couple of all star wrestlers, and they go after each other and everything. So they have like that kind of thing. But mostly he's on top of her and knocking her around, and I, I almost feel like I got to break this up. I can't let this happen to her. Because he, he's so aggressive and she's just all like just wanting to enjoy life and getting decked all the time. Aww. She needs to go to the gym. Yeah. Well, he, he, he's tired of getting sand in her kick, getting sand kicked in her face. Yeah. I'm going to be protecting her for a long time from that from that other little monster. But she's got her own brand of mischievousness stuff. They, they like uh, climb on uh, up to the bed under the covers and attack my my bare toes, and that's like a shock to your toes. And um, I'm all rusted, and and then they sneak up the end of the bed under the covers and attack me, and and it just makes me just sit up in bed like it's like a sh electric shock. <laughs> Well, Pat, have fun. I will. <laughs> Do they hang out in your studio with you? Um, I don't bring them out here very much because I, I I don't know what they're going to get into, and um, I don't really have this place cat proofed. I don't have a spray bottle out here either. And you better uh, get another spray bottle or a litter box. Oh, there she goes over to the. She's yeah. getting into something. Yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And All right, we'll sign off together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Joke's coming. Please come back. I will. All right. I'll, I'll be washing dishes to your morning show as usual. Pat Soon. Moriarty, did you exercise today with us? I I moved on the dishes, so okay. I look at your show and I lift the plates and I dry them off and I put them in the shelf and and I do so. I am moving. We'll do it. We'll do a Pat Moriarty like a washing. Oh thing. yeah. I'll do a morning dishwashing 
uh, calisthenics class for you. Thank Good you. Night. Thanks a lot for being here. Pat Moriarty, everybody. Good night. I was going to applaud him. All right. I got a phone call. I'm going to go take it. I will see you tomorrow morning. Not today morning because it's 1158. Check it out now, Funk Soul Sisters and Brothers. Love hard, everybody. Mwah. Real hard.